Hey John here. So we got this 2017 GMC Acadia with the V6 here, and uh, we're going to be doing a temperature sensor. Uh, this fella here, um, a engine coolant temperature sensor, right? This guy costs thirteen dollars, but where it lives is uh, kind of hideous. So uh, I just loosened up these uh, one, two, three, four, five, looks like six screws on this air box, and um, it's it's. Where it's located, it's bad lighting. I got to, uh, and also uh, unloosen this uh, this clamp here. So we're just going to take this this uh, air air cleaner box and move it just over here. I'm not going to un unclip uh, the uh, sensors and on just 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 the air box. It's one of those deals where you can't get your hand in there, right? So you're you're thinking, how the hell? Is, you know, there's no way you can get a tool in there. Um, so I'm going to come up with something to get that thing out of there. Uh, I don't know if GM actually has a tool, a specialty tool, you know, to, to, <laughs> to do this job. i got a plan, and I'm going to build a tool for this. Hopefully it'll work, because I really don't want to spend the time tearing this engine down. But uh, in the meantime, let me zoom in and show you that little... Uh, see that red tab there? So I just poked it up a little bit. We have to get that two-wire deal off the sensor. That's where the sensor lives. Like I said, you, you can't get your hand in there, but I'll think of something. But there's another sensor, or another, uh, there's another a junction just like that under this. Uh, uh, I'll set the camera up, and I'll show you how I'm going to try to get this uh, wire. I, so I just clicked the red thing up, and I was just looking at this other one. It's an identical thing. I'm going to do it over here to show you easier because there's no way I'm going to be able to get the camera in there and show you show you what I'm going to do. It's basically um, it's going to almost be impossible. But let me show you this other clip. All right, so picking this, uh, again, w w this is the same kind of clip. But we're just, it would be the same idea down there. And uh, w this is why I'm attacking it this way, because this literally is the top. This piece here, this wire, is... When you're looking at that thermostat housing just to the right, this is on the top. So this is what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, now we can see the bottom here, but um, this, this clip collects, connects to another harness. But the clip down there we're dealing with is just this piece here, and then it plugs into the sensor, which this would simulate the sensor. So just reach in here and grab this, uh, what a pick, this little flap here. Click her up just like that. And then... You'll be reaching in from from the top, and there's just enough room to get this hook, like like so, to go in there and rotate it to a spot right between. I, I guess I'll get this out and I'll show you where it is. You just put the hook in here, lift up on that little bit, and then and then pull. It, it'll it'll uh, pop right off. So this should pop right off. I need two hands, but. You need to pull them wires while you're prying this up. There it goes. So it just uh, released, and then we could just uh, take it the rest of the way off. And that's what the what that's what the one that we're dealing with looks like. Uh, so where where I was just uh, explaining to dig into, don't dig in here. Once you get this uh, red piece up here, you know, go under here in between the white thing and this. You know, you got to get this black. I don't know if this is coming out of camera because I can't even see myself. Uh, this black tab and in between here, just like so. And lift that tab up and it'll release. Because if you go above this tab, you're absolutely doing nothing. Probably break something. So uh, that's how that thing works. And then, of course, we plug it in just the opposite. You hit click and then uh, we close the door. That's how easy it is, right? So the problem is the one we're dealing with. <laughs> is let's see if I can just like to stay down between so this is the wire we're dealing with it's just a two wire deal this wire right here and that's our that's our red harness down there but again it's so far down we're gonna have to come up with something I mean I can get this with this pick here so I'll show you what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna again it's gonna be hidden and there's oh don't fall let me get this light on here. See if that'll help a little bit. So, just reaching in here, and again, I got the air box back on. Uh, you can flip the air box over in this corner over here to get give you a little bit more room, but I'm not going to hook 
unhook any of these hoses, none of the uh, housing, nothing. Uh, so far, it's just the air box that I'm going to, the top of the air box, not even the whole thing. Uh, so I'm just going to reach in here and go down and flip up this uh, tab just like that. Right? And then I'm also going to go down a little further. Again, I can't get both things in here to show you. Uh, maybe I can. Maybe if I switch this way over here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just going to go in here and just underneath this, uh, you can barely see it, uh, just like the one we just did. I'm just going to circle in there. It's more of a feel thing because you can't see nothing. I think that's, I think that's it. So it's it's impossible for me to show you this, but I, I just got it. So I'm I'm kind of flying blind. It's unhooked, but I kind of uh, you know I got the hook down there, right to the kind of like a pick at the base of uh, again. There's there's no light. There's no no way for me to show you this good, but uh, at the base of this, um, I kind of just went in because you're going to get hooked in this uh, the. The, the front part there it's not going to work you need to be like I said like I showed you a second ago in between the the uh, you know towards the blue part of that sensor on the secondary uh, you, uh, let me just uh, take it out anyways it, it's out uh, and then you just uh, again here's here's where my arm is I mean it's like uh, I mean uh, what the other way with this I mean I'm basically just in between these two pipes with a little pick there and you go down like I said, I, I just went down side, by the side of it, turned the pick a little bit to get underneath the, uh, you know, the sensor, and uh, just pry it up, and it, and it pops right off. Pops off easy once you once you know, <laughs> once you know what the heck you're doing. But listen, it's going to be tricky. Tricky getting in there. If you have a longer, um, let me see, if you have a longer pick than this, it would have been a lot easier, because uh, now you're way out here and you could see more. I'm basically hiding everything with my hand, so it was a feel thing, but. Now, that being said, oh, and I also took out this uh, bottom air box here, this this piece, because uh, uh, just to sh I, I was trying to get a camera in there to show you, but it pops right off, pops right off of these uh, little balls, so that was no no big deal. Now you got a little more space to deal with, and there's not really just a screwdriver involved right now, a Phillips screwdriver to take that those bolts off, and I could have done this uh, leaving that base air clean air cleaner in, but this will show you a little bit more room. Uh, so again, it's getting dark. I, I got to get some lights set up and then We're gonna make a tool because uh, there's no way to get Let me see if I can zoom in here. Let me see if I can zoom in All right, so that is the top of the sensor. I don't know if I can uh, Point that out and again, it's very hard to get a lighting a light in here um, So I'm zooming in real slow The sensor is the thing we're looking at with the top missing now and that where the point of this hook is that's a 15 millimeter bolt and that plastic piece on the top here is what we just unplugged right so there's no way to get a socket a normal socket on top of that because you need a deep dish right because of the plastic piece for the connector uh, and a deep dish will is just going to hit the engine block this is part of the engine block here so taking all this stuff even taking all the stuff off is still going to be challenging. Uh, and that's your thermostat housing down there. But I, I think I can make a tool that we can slip down here on a rod or something. Because all we need to do is crack this thing loose. Once we get it cracked loose, we could stick a slotted screwdriver into that pl plastic, uh, you know, housing of the, uh, of, of, you know, once we get it cracked loose, I'm sure we could screw it out with a screwdriver. You know, just putting a, a flathead in that slot. So, but we got to get it cracked loose. That's the whole thing. And we also have to have that tool when we reinstall it to, uh, you know, get it tightened up because there's uh, there's coolant behind there, right? So that's another thing. Uh, I'm not emptying the coolant out yet, uh, so I'm going to uh, just uh, pull us up on some ramps and get some coolant, uh, let it flow down. So, you know, your bottles there. Actually, that's pretty low. Uh, but your, you know, there's, there's going to be coolant. It's a pretty low spot here. There's going to be coolant spilling out, so I'm going to empty it out of the radiator when it's time. But I want to get that cracked first before I go doing all that, because I might just put this back together if this doesn't work, and have to uh, deal with it some other time taking the intake off. But we're we're halfway there, and we got the electrical connector off. 
let's go ahead and, and uh, see if we can get that uh, tool made. Yeah, so this is what I come up with. So this is a 15 millimeter socket, right? And I welded this rod on, um, and there's some bends in here, so it just goes a little bit, bends a little bit, bends again, because uh, where this thing needs to fit, needs to clear a few things. And again, the goal is just to get that thing cracked loose, and then uh, we basically don't even need this anymore. We could stick a screwdriver in there and unscrew it. Okay, so this tool actually worked, and uh, I did show how I made it and, you know, the dimensions and everything, but... Uh, so I'll, I'll continue the video just to see, show you how it, it uh, you know, it does work. But uh, then I thought about it the next day because I ran out of daylight uh, and I thought of something else and it actually works better. And I'll show that a little later. So I'll just pick it up here and I'll just show you how this, this worked out. And then I'll show you an actual easier way uh, because you may not have the ways and means to make a um, tool like this with a welder and bender and, you know, this and that. So it is actually easy to make a tool that works for this and I'll show you in a sec. Yeah, let's give this a whirl. So I don't know what the best way to go on this side. Yeah, let me try it. I'm gonna go on this side of this plastic pipe because it's a little flexible if you gotta move it in. So so you you can't see but I'm just gonna give it a little twist to get it by the thermostat and then bring it back in. That's the idea of the shallow uh, socket. Bring it back in so we can get it on top of uh, the sensor. So right now it's on top of the sensor and six-sided uh, six 15 millimeter. Okay, so it's kind of what it looks like. It's the top of the handle here. If we look down the shaft, we're on the sensor down there, right? Um, I can't see a damn thing without my glasses, but I'm thinking you can see that the the socket is on the sensor, and we're just going to give it a uh, a lefty loosey turn, and hopefully it does a trick. Right? Let's put it up. Let's try that. Oh, did move. I don't know if it slipped off the socket or it actually cracked loose. Well, that fell. See if we can get another bite on there. Oh, I think it did loose. I think it is loose. Get out of town. Let's see if it is loose. Again, we're going to stick a screwdriver in the top of that uh, sensor. Oh, it is loose. Get out of town. Look at that. All right, so it's twisting and it's turning. I'm not gonna, uh, I gotta go empty the uh, fluid out. Nice! Alright, so before we uh, crack her, I mean, uh, take that sensor out, we're gonna just empty some of this uh, fluid out, I mean, uh, cooling out, and that little red, uh, oh, I just got some stuff in my eye, great. That little red, uh, you know, just crack it, unloosen it. Uh, it's, a, it's a little stiff, but unloosen it, and then it'll start flowing out. So, that's all we'll do. Alright, got the old one out, and, uh, and by the way, that was uh, intermittent. This uh, thing worked sometimes and sometimes it didn't, but we'll match them up. Identical. Let's go screw this guy in. Well, I'm definitely started. Um, again, I'm just uh, going real easy with fingertip control here. <laughs> Give it a little turn. I could see it going in. Uh, you know, just wiggle it. Just wiggle it a little bit. Uh, but it does have um, uh, some kind of like Teflon tape or you know some goo on there so it's gonna start getting tight but for right now we're just using like I said the flat the flat headed uh, screwdriver into the sensor location hole and it is threading in so we'll keep doing that and maybe I'll get the pair of pliers down there and I'll uh, give it a couple turns like that um, but until we get like seated or close to seated there's no sense putting that wrench on there just because uh, yeah we could do it like that we could just just use a long pair of needle nose, give it a quarter turn at a time. <laughs> so so the tool I made worked out, but uh, uh, I'm just messing around. I ran out of daylight, so i got to finish up tomorrow by uh, putting the coolant in. So this is uh, 
the old sensor, right? And uh, the tool I made worked, but you know it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it tight. And then uh, just because of the nature of where it is, do you you know you don't want to over tighten it and strip anything or you know break anything? But I was like, hmm, I wonder. So because it's dark out and I can't do nothing anyways, uh, I was just thinking, what if uh, we just took a deep dish, a deep uh, socket, right? And and I was as I was looking around, they're not all the same. So this was a Craftsman socket, and I'll show you what happens in a second. So this this hex only goes to about here, right? I found one in my drawer. This is a spark plug thing, I think, but it's a, it's five eighths, which is close to fifteen millimeter. So the hex goes all the way down to, you know, like this was a whole thing, right? This is too deep to get in there because of the engine, the block, the head. You can't get, you know. Get it back under. You cut this in half, or this is this is an inch and a quarter. Measures inch and a quarter, and then I uh, put a little angle on it. Uh, so now, when you sneak in there with this, of course it'll be this way. Uh, you can just get in there, right? And boom, it fits over. And this uh, this is a three eighths, right? Three eighths of uh, drive. It was an old spark plug, uh, five eighths spark plug there, but it fits. And use an adapter right and then we can use a wobbler on a uh, right quarter inch drive it works great you see what the flexibility we got here so I reached in here uh, because I wasn't sure with my tool if this was all, all the way tightened because the uh, tick mark here was facing this way let's say in the car and when I thought I was tightened down, I didn't see the tick markers like over here. I was like, ah, oh boy, maybe it's not tightened down. So I came up with this, and I got on there with a good positive, you know, it goes right down to the, you know, all the thread, uh, all the, uh, you know, it's all meat. And I uh, gave it a, you know, I actually loosened it up to make sure it was, you know, positive. And boom, this actually works great. So if I had to do it again, well, obviously I'm going to keep this, but uh, just cut a, cut a uh, 5 8 socket in half but make sure the uh, the hex actually goes down all right so putting the wire on a uh, bit of a challenge too just because uh, so I ended up taking uh, a long pair of needle nose and grabbing you know the 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 plastic part up by that red clip and just guiding it in there and getting it started then I took a flat bladed uh, long blade screwdriver and kind of finagled it into the hole now this tab is backwards now because the uh, and that's what made it a little bit more challenging, although it's oval, it doesn't really matter what side the tab's on. It's just that the sensor, that the new sensor, after it's seated, that's where it ended up being, you know, the the little tit on the uh, on the sensor there to click it in. It ended up being on the other side. Uh, but it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter, except if I have to do this again, it's going to be a little bit more challenging getting to that uh, red clip. Um, it, you could just see it there, but... You know, it's 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 obviously doable. The, getting the red clip up was uh, the, the the easiest part, and getting to pick under that, uh, as you you know, as you saw us do or try, at least try on this guy over here. It's easy when you can see what you're doing, but when you're doing a feel thing, it's a little bit more challenging. Anyways, uh, it's seated. It's in. The wire's in. Uh, I got to get uh, some uh, tap the fluid off. I just uh, put some antifreeze in there. And uh, we're going to start this up. I'm going to put this air box back together. We're almost done here. All right, so I'm just waiting to see, if, you know, getting the fluid up to snuff. So uh, we didn't really use any special tools. This was uh, the deep dish, uh, you know, we cut, cut in half there. And uh, that worked out fine. Uh, so we were able to sneak by there. And again, taking all this stuff off. Uh, do you really want to take all this stuff off? All these fittings and all this stuff. Uh, just asking for more trouble. I mean, the only thing we did was took the air box off and we had right at it. And taking all that stuff off, in my opinion, I don't think it would have made a difference as far as getting that wire off, as far as getting, getting down there with a tool. I mean, it's, it, it, it's the engine block that's in the way, not the actual, uh, you know, intake, in my experience, anyways. Uh, you know, you saw what we did. I don't know, you know, what the actual book costs were, but everything I've seen on YouTube, everybody's taking the intake manual pulled off, and that just seemed like a lot of work to me. Uh, it is tedious doing it this way, but you can obviously you can get it. But anyways, it's it's running fine now. Let me top this off, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah.